Hello friends and welcome to my channel the Unix Matra. Today we are going to learn how to create custom partitions in CentOS 7 or RHL 7. So we'll be going to install a virtual machines with the CentOS installed on top of it. We'll have a hard disk of 30 GB and we'll be creating a total 7 partitions out of which one will be a standard partition that is slash put of 500 MB and the rest of all will be on LVM. So let's start. First of all, we need a ISO file. So in order to download that, just browse centos.org slash download in the browser and it will show you this page. Click on minimal ISO. Here are the list of the links from which you can download the ISO. Simply click on any of the link and it will start the download. I'm not going to download it because I already have it installed. So let's start installing a virtual machine. I will be using a Oracle Virtual Box Manager in order to create a virtual machine. So click on New and give the name of the operating system or the name of the virtual machine. And in my case, it's CentOS 7. So it will automatically detect the type and the version of the operating system. Next, it will ask you for the amount of memory that is RAM that you wish to assign to the virtual machine. Let's keep it as it is, that is of 1 GB. Click on next. Then it is asking if you want to create a new virtual RTX or use the existing one. So here we are going to install a new virtual machine so we'll be creating a new virtual artifacts click on create and next just keep it as it is that is dynamically allocated now it is asking for the size of the artifacts here yeah. we'll be using the 30 gb of artifacts so give the size as 30 and the location i'm going to store the virtual disk into a folder so it will have a name as centos 7pdf click on save create so done it has created the machine but the operating system yet to be installed just click on start here it is asking us for the location of the iso so just click on the browse and give the path of the ISO file. Click on start. Click on install CentOS 7. Wait for the GUI to come. And here we go. Select the type of language. So we'll keep the English, US English. Click on continue. Then it is asking us to select the date and the time format. So we'll be create we'll be selecting the zone as Asia Kolkata. Click on done. The next it will as we have a minimal ISO, it will have a software selection as minimal install. Then click here uh, installation destination. So Usually it will have a by default selected as automatically configured partitioning. So as we are going to uh, create a custom partition, we will select I will configure partition and click on done. Now if you have a partitioning scheme like this, 
So first of all, create slash pool partition of 500 MB. That is standard partition. Just click on the plus button here and give the name as slash put and the size 500 click on add more point so it will by default has a, a standard device type selected as standard partition and the file system as xfs will keep as it is then the next click on plus sign will create a root partition that is slash and the size that is of 6 GB click on add mount button here it will have by default selected as LVM so we will not change it uh, it will have a by default uh, volume group created with the name as CentOS if you want you can modify the name so I am going to use I am going to give a name as VG00 and select the size policy as as large as possible so that you will be able to use the entire 30 GB RTX. Click on save. This is the name of the LPM. So you can change if you want. I will keep as it is that is a root. Then the next partition slash home. With the size of 2 GB, click on add more point. Don't change anything because the rest of the mount points will be on LVM. Just create a next partition slash USR of 10 GB. Click on add more point. Then slash where of size 6 GB. Click on add mount point. Then swap of 2 GB. It will have a file system automatically selected as swap. Then slash TMP of 3 GB. So these are total mount points slash home slash where slash tmp slash put slash usr then the root and finally swap. Click on done and it will show you the total partitions that it is going to create and the type. Click on accept changes. And click on begin installation so it has started the installation set the root password set, set it simple and click I'm going to pause the video because it will take some time to get the OS installed. And here we are, the installation has been completed. Just click on reboot and it will reboot the virtual machine. Just wait for a while still it comes. and check if the partitions are same that was given by us 
and if you see here are all the partition slash that is root then slash usr slash put slash var slash home slash tmp and if you check the vg the vg name that is vg00 with the size of around 30 gb still we have a through 2 gb free so this is all thank you for watching the video